Hey kids, Gil with Gracie Creek Outfitters here. Uh, this is the unboxing video for the diesel heater that I bought. Um, just got it up on the kitchen table right now on a turntable so that uh, you can see what the box arrived like. You notice right here the, uh, the tape goes on the one side but as you can see there was never any tape on this other side here or it would have you know torn up you could see it if there was further on the back side the bottom this is laying up on its side this is how this thing came uh, just pulled it in together like that so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and this is my first time opening it so you're seeing everything as I'm seeing it uh, let me get this out of here And it looks like it came from the Fulfillment Center. And here we go. Um, I'm going to leave that a little blurry. I don't really want my... Uh, let me see. Nope. Doesn't have... I guess this is just for the Fulfillment Center. The way they did it. Now everything looks okay here. I'm a little uh, irritated at the... Um, at the way they put it in the outer box. But let me go grab a knife real quick. No, no, this is a knife. Not really, but... Okay, so it doesn't really tell me what side is up, although if we look at the top here, it appears this is the bottom. So I'm going to flip this up and I am going to open this thing across here. I'm sorry if this is an odd angle, but I'm doing this on the kitchen table. I'll move it around as I can to give you a better view. Ta-da! Okay, let me get this closer. So this is what it looks like on the inside here. This is obviously the fuel tank. Let me see, does this go all the way down? Yep. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pull this out without tearing it up. up. Just in case, um, oh, oh heck. Okay, I'm going to lay this down. I've never done an un unboxing video, by the way, so bear with me. Um, I'll probably do some other ones in the future, but um, this should be no problem pulling it out sideways. I'm sure it got turned 17 ways to Christmas. And go ahead. I guess that's intake filter. Got uh, aluminum corrugated piping. Another piece of corrugating. Oh, two, two pieces. And then this most apparently is the exhaust. So, let's see what we've got in here. Okay. The box is now empty. Put that there. And let's see what we've got before we start off. Got a, uh, a bag of different clamps. And looks like some ways of securing the, uh, the pipes. I'm not sure what this is. I'm gonna gonna assume this is probably the filter for the intake to make sure you don't get uh, junk inside of it. And then, of course, we've got several hoses, and one of these has a wiring in it. I'll move the camera just to, just a smidge. Okay. 
and we've got the unit itself, which looks like it's none the worse for wear. Get this knife out of the way. And a couple nice little handles. Actually, I uh, have to admit, the um, I figured it would come more disassembled than it did. Um, here's your remote control and the display screen. These, uh, these outlet vents are way bigger than I thought. There is some damage on it here. Um, probably scuffing from, I don't even know if you can see that on the camera. You can see the scuffs there. Um, probably from the shipping process. I'm not worried about cosmetic stuff. Um, so let's get all this stuff together here so you can see this is everything that came in with the um, unit. So, not bad. Um, so far, um, no, no real worries. I was uh, concerned when I saw the type of box it came in, but apparently the fulfillment center did that. Um, quite frankly, shame on you, Amazon. That's, uh, that's not the way to do it. And of course the instruction manual, which is in German, and I knew this from uh, going in, I read all the reviews on it. Not really worried about it. I found the manual for it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, check this out. There is a manual in English. So not bad. Not bad at all. Um, they're kind of the... I, this manual looks to be the same as the one that I um, found online. And it says, this air heater is not affected, or the air heater is not affected by the engine, and it is supplied for the following vehicles with corresponding power. All kinds of auto and trailers, construction machinery, all one word, agricultural machinery, boat, ship, yacht, caravan, function, warm up and defrost, ugh, and defrost glass, heat and keep, keep warm for the followed area, driving cab, cabin, cargo hold, interior of staff carrier caravan. But then it also goes on to say the heater cannot be used in the following place and situation. Constant heating for a long time, living room, garage, residential purpose boat, heat and dry, life, people, animal, blowing hot air directly. I think what they're talking about there is uh, articles and objects, blow hot air to container. Anyway, I think what they're talking about is I saw another video on this. This is the, this is the output here. Um, I saw another video where they, um, they had a different pipe coming out of it, and I think, I think it works out to where you can hook a hose to it, and they stuck a temperature probe inside of it, and I'm trying to remember, the temperature probe was saying something like 220 degrees. If it's blowing that hot of air out, yeah, you don't want to be sitting directly in front of it. That's a no-brainer. Um, as far as the intake and exhaust on this, I'm going to go ahead and move these things out of the way here. Oh, and the, the muffler unit for it, which kind of stymies me. I'm wondering why I need a muffler. Um, the videos I've seen, the only sound that thing makes is a clicking sound. But we'll find out when I do the video, putting it into use for the first time. Let's go ahead and I'll give you a round robin of it. Again, we've got the display here which is attached. You've got the remote control, which obviously is going to come off of there because I don't want it down near there. Also, I will note these feel a little rough here. Not that you'd be sticking your fingers in there, but just something to be aware of. This is the side view. Um, 
and this is the back where you connect your power to it. Those seem pretty sturdy. And then also the air intake right back here. Um, take a look at the other side real quick. You can uh, check the level of your tank. I think, I want to say, this is either a 3 or a 5 liter tank. Looking down in there, um, pretty big. So, um, one other thing I'm thinking about doing with this is um, tapping into a 5 gallon kerosene can. Now that's another thing that uh, I should say. This is rated to burn diesel fuel, but it does say somewhere uh, if you burn kerosene you won't have to replace the internal um, gaskets nearly as often so I think I'm going to go ahead and take a hit and I'm just going to use kerosene only in it because kerosene is essentially diesel fuel that's refined another step or two and it'll burn a lot cleaner. Um, where I'm going to be using it inside of my um, my carport tent while I build my boat and also in my storage shed while I do other parts of things and then also in my tent when we camp outside. I've, I've got a battery um, that I believe will probably run this thing about 20 hours on one charge um, so it'll make it portable. I did not order the 12 volt um, converter. Converter is that right? I think it's converter. Inverter goes from 12 volt to 120 essentially. Uh, converter converts 110 or 120 down to 12 volts. I may get one of those later on for right now, I'm just going to use my battery and um, I'll just charge it up with my charger and then we'll see how long it'll run and go from there. Um, but that's, uh, that's about it. We'll go ahead and pop these sides off real quick so we can see the internals of it. And I've heard some things. One review said uh, they were critical of it because apparently it rattles when it runs. Um, and we'll have to we'll have to see. Oh, okay, the the whole um, that's pretty sturdy there. The whole tank wanted to come up with it. What I may end up doing in the future is connecting into this hose if it is possible, and then you have the pump back here. Apparently, this clicks click 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 while it's running. This is the actual burn chamber and the exhaust uh, comes out the bottom here. I'll flip it up in a second. I don't want to do it with everything loose. But otherwise this is similar to the kits you get where everything is um, just components only. Which is what you would do if you were going to install it in your camper or whatever. It would be easier just to take component by component. Um, and do it, I suppose I could also, these look like they would fit over that, yeah. I could also divert the air different ways if I wanted to, I believe. I, I'm thinking that's what those are there for. This one should be the air intake um, right here. And I can only assume that this is the exhaust. Um, what I will do with this is I will wrap it in header tape and initially I'm going to put it through the window of my storage shed, which is all I have to um, work with right now. And that's where I'll test, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll test it out the first time. Um, later on I'll get another hose similar to this and I will... Um, go ahead and, and make a hose for different situations like one for the tent where I can run it out through the bottom of the door leave it unzipped a little bit it'll have header tape wrapped around it so it's not going to melt anything I'll do several layers on that one initially um, I will probably do this um, out the window of my um, workshop and I'm gonna it's gonna take some doing I don't want to bend this too much right now until I read through the instructions, even though, even though they're in uh, weird English um, at best. But let's go ahead and we'll put this back on 
so far though, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm liking it. Um, hopefully it, it works as well as I believe it will. And let me see, does that go? Yep, that's as far down as it goes. There's little holes that you clip the clips into. Maybe you can see that one, there's a little latch hole there. And same thing on the other side. Okay, so that's that. And then go ahead and um, right off the hand, right off hand, I'm assuming this one, because the fuel line is right here, I'm assuming this to be the, I would hope it's the intake over here. Um, so it stays away from the exhaust. But um, it's going to take some further reading to figure that out. So anyway, a little bit longer than I wanted to be, but um, this is the heater. Um, I will be supplying links to the actual product on Amazon if any of you should be so inclined as to buy one. And I will do more videos on it in action and do some reviews of it, let you know how well it works. Um, this is rated at 8 kilowatts. What comes out to a little more than 27,000 BTU, I think it's 27,297 or something. So I'm, a, I'm just going to say 27,000 BTU. Um, if it does put that much out, this should heat any of the spaces that I want to heat with it. Um, and it should do it well. I should actually have to be at a, um, have it be on low for some of those spaces. Um, I may even have to place it outside of the tent and pipe the air in because the tent may be too small and it might get it up to 100 degrees in there and we don't want that. So, but I'm going to go ahead and close this out and look for the next video when I put it into play. Thanks for watching. This is Gil with Greasy Creek Outfitters and uh, tight lines and God bless.